everybody. Lori here from Prestige Salon. Um, I'm here with a little public service announcement um, about a subject that's really concerning me because I think a lot of people are being misinformed or um, don't understand um, the importance of um, learning about the autoclave bags and what an autoclave really is. So you're seeing salons now starting to use um, implements that have been put in packages just like this. But the difference is, um, are they being run through the right kind of equipment to sterilize them, not just disinfect them? Um, we use an autoclave, which is a high pressure steam sterilization. Um, the same thing that a dentist or a doctor's office uses to sterilize our metal tools and implements. There are a couple of ways that um, I try to explain to people to look for um, the authenticity of these being used in an autoclave and not another unit, which I'll talk about. So these autoclave bags, when they're run through the high pressure steam sterilization, first of all, these bags themselves have indicators on them. So there's little, there's a blue and a pink indicator strip that will show whether um, they've reached the correct um, steam temp and temperature inside of the autoclave, and they will change color. So this is a new bag. The new bag is clear. It's, it's not as crinkly. I'm not sure if you can hear that. So this is what they sound like, brand new. When they've been run through the autoclave for the correct amount of time, these indicator strips right here, they change color. So they go to this tan and brown shades from the pink and the blue. So this is really important to ask for. Like when you see um, them come out with the bags, take a moment to really inspect it first. Oftentimes they're, these bags are being reused and they're not even being used in the correct, correct equipment. So look for those indicator strips. The, these are pretty standard industry-wide bags that you can purchase or many of us can purchase at our um, supply stores. So watch for the indicator strips, the crinkly sound, you know, the paper has been wet and then it got dried in a dry cycle. Um, those are some key things to look for. So what's happening is um, we're finding that salons are using um, UV light sterilizers. They're called sterilizers. They're actually in fact mislabeled. So UV light boxes are just holding boxes for things that have been properly disinfected and or sterilized. So if you are um, seeing them just wash the implements, maybe put them in the bag and then they're putting them in these UV light boxes, that they're doing a huge um, disservice to the consumer and it's actually quite dangerous because these UV light boxes from industry sources, very reliable, these are not sterilizers. The UV light that's in these boxes does not meet the required intensity or strength to be considered a sterilant or to kill anything. They just keep things that have been properly sterilized or disinfected clean. What happens with them, especially if when you put them in bags, is that light only gets to whatever surface it's exposed to on the top of this bag. So UV light, even if you did not bag them, does not get in cracks and crevices. It does not bend corners. They often um, lose their intensity, to it, the light itself over time, the bulbs, and they should be replaced and they get dusty. So these are not sterilizers. They're just holding boxes for things that have been properly disinfected and or sterilized. And that's a big, big misconception that is going on right now. And it's concerning me because people are, I think, um, seeing something come out in packages, but you don't know really where they are coming from. Another tool that is acceptable in the form of, of being a sterilizer is what we call a dry heat sterilizer. And here's a picture of one. So this is also considered an autoclave. It's just a dry heat autoclave. Instead of using high pressure steam sterilization, these use intense heat coils. So this gets very hot. I believe um, 330 to 350 degrees or hotter. And the required sterilization time is 60 minutes. So in essence, this bakes everything, which also is acceptable but you have to use, they are not meant to have these types of bags used in a dry heat sterilizer. You need to use nylon bags. So it's a whole different type of product that's used in this type of unit, which is a dry heat sterilizer. And it's a longer sterilization cycle. 
autoclaves, the cycle that's recommended for this industry is a 25 minute cycle. So it's a much quicker cycle and then there's a dry cycle that goes along with that. So we can um, sterilize in much less time than this. This would take up more electricity. Oftentimes people overpack these, which you can overpack as an autoclave as well. And the coils have been known to unevenly heat. One thing that we do here is we verify um, our our autoclave by doing a spore test kit and a spore test kit is um let me come over to the autoclave really quick so a spore test kit looks like this this comes in a yearly supply and this is to verify the efficacy of my autoclave so this is the difference between using something like the blue liquid which is unverifiable to running a test once a month and we have a record of this so this is registered my autoclave is registered with a cdc and these are biological strips that are put in with a cycle once a month and we have a record keeping system back here that we we follow we keep track of the cycles and when we do water changes so there's a lot of verifiability when you're using autoclaves and the biggest one is spore testing on a monthly basis through an independent laboratory so our autoclave looks like this. It's got a cylinder type of chamber with three draws. We load our autoclave with our implements that have been disinfected, you, uh, run through a uh, ultrasonic cleaner with disinfectant, and then we will run this for our cycle. And this is what we pre-clean our implements with. We have an ultrasonic cleaner we use the correct disinfectant that's changed, the cleaner that's changed um, on a regular basis as per its instructions. So this ultrasonically takes all of the bio burden and debris off of our implements prior to us drying them and placing them in the autoclave bag and then they go into the autoclave itself to be sterilized. So this is a little bit of a rundown, a little public service announcement. Um, I felt it very important to try to educate everybody on the difference. And there are some really good salons out there that have stepped up their um, game on sterilization, salon, sanitation, disinfection practices. And thank you very much for your time and have a great one.